Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button now. Got lots more reviews and comparison videos coming soon. Uh, and sorry for the lack of uploads over the past week. Just been busy with uh, with work, but the channel is back to normal now. And I am just clearing out the um, the cabinet just to give it a quick clean try and do this every few months. So I've put most of the models on the table. Um, I've just left the um, Bugattis in the cabinet. Just don't have any room for them right now, but everything else is empty. I'll be giving this a quick clean. So it's just gives me a chance to um, see what model cars I haven't yet done a in-depth review on. Um, so, if you guys haven't seen uh, or you're new to the channel, I've done in-depth reviews on most of these cars on the table. So um, both of the Koenigseggs have been reviewed. Uh, the Blue Revolution and the white one have also got an in-depth review. The um, Marvin X Edition Veyron's got a review. Uh, both McLarens have done a review on. The LFA, the NSX, the Huayra have all been reviewed. Um, so if there's any kind of other model car on the table that you want me to do an in-depth review of, please let me know. Um, but I think in today's video, let's pick one that I haven't done. Let's do the, let's do the Sesto Elemento. Um, so let's get this, um, Lamborghini on the turntable now and, um, do an in-depth review on it. So on the turntable, we've got AutoArt Signature Series Lamborghini Sesto Elemento in 118 scale. Now, this is actually quite new to the channel. I've only owned this model car for a few months, um, and that's because I am trying to grow out my Lamborghini collection. So far, I've got two Lamborghinis from AutoArt Signature. I've obviously got the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. And I've got the Lamborghini Aventador LP700-4. Um, so I am looking to get um, the Lamborghini Aventador Roadster, the Veneno and the Aventador J as well. Um, but again, like all of the other auto art signature models, they're quite rare and still quite expensive. Um, but I am looking to um, grow out the Lamborghini collection with some other model cars. As I mentioned, this is the AutoArt Signature Series, and like all AutoArt Signature Series models, it comes with the um, Certificate of Authenticity, um, and it is numbered. This is a really high number. This is 5,136. Um, so it's, it's, again, limited and out of print. So AutoArt don't make these types of models anymore. They are making the composite models now um, but this is a really nice model car it's got some really good weight to it and some exceptional detail that we will look into um, first of all i would like to mention that it's just a complete carbon fiber finish on the exterior um, now i believe on the real car um, it hasn't even got a um a, oh, it's got a very thin lacquer um so it doesn't come with any paint options it's just a completely bare carbon fiber finish um, but all to i have done a good job um, the weave does look very realistic and it's all matching um, but it's quite a matte finish it's not particularly glossy um, but it, it is overall a very good finish and it is like the um the real car so it's quite a um, authentic model now again like all of the other auto art models this is a die cast and it's a opening model car. So the doors open and the engine cover opens up, which I'll show you guys that in a um, in a moment. The front doesn't open, it um, it's sealed. But let's take a look at the front in a bit more detail. So not too much to see, to be honest, at the front. Um, very mean looking uh, model and it's got really really good aerodynamic details on this car which i will show you guys so again it's quite a wide model car for aerodynamics the whole front of the model car is completely open and you've got the um, metal mesh in um, in all of the openings here at the bottom as well does look very good the lamborghini badge in the middle 
looks very nice. You can see the ball, the Lamborghini, uh, good details there by Ottawa. And the headlights are done very nicely as well. I love the um, the red accent in the model as one of the main um, main things that kind of drew me towards the um, buying this one. So I love the red indents that you've got on the front. The whole of the interior is um, finished in red and you've got red touches around the side and over the engine cover as well, which really ties in the model really nicely. Um, the lines on the model car are very good. Um, the whole presence and the whole styling of the front end by Ottawa is exceptional. The wipers are done very nicely um, as well. But again, not much to see at the front. So it's a very minimalistic um, styling, but very efficient for um, the purpose of this um, model car. So it is um, a good uh, front end of the model. So let's come round the side, have a look at this in a bit more detail. Now again, all of the um, the weaves match through all of the different compartments, which I love from um, from Ottawa. Let's take a look at the wheels in a bit more detail. So again, you've got the carbon finish on the um, on the wheels to match the whole exterior of the car. The calipers are done in red as well um, to match all of the other little touches in red, which I absolutely love. You've also got the Lamborghini. Um, text finished on the red caliper which looks phenomenal the whole wheel does look really good and the um, the discs are absolutely enormous so the overall wheel and tire design of the model car looks uh, exceptional really good levels of detail there um, again like most other auto art models um, doesn't have any tire writing on the tires um, but again that's kind of hit and miss with auto art in those details me personally, I do like a bit of tie writing, like the Zondas have got it and um, some other auto art models, um, but they're quite inconsistent with it. Um, but nevertheless, it's still uh, a pretty decent attempt by auto art. Moving across the side of the model. Now, again, this is a fully opening die cast model, and you can see that all the shut lines between all the different compartments are very neat, very tidy. The panel gaps are very minimalistic, which I um, which I love. And it's, and on on a fully opening diecast model, they're quite rare. Normally the gaps are quite substantial, but it's all very neat on this model car. Again, fully carbon fiber. I love the style of the side mirrors as well. Uh, very unique that kind of styling. All of the air intakes on the side of the model car here for the engine cover all finished in the black metal mesh as well which looks really nice again coming round the side of the model the rear wheels are done um, exactly like the front finished in carbon fiber the calipers in red with the lamborghini text on it and looks really nice and you've got the lamborghini badges on the center locks as well and um, so good touches there by auto up Let's come round the rear of the model where it looks really, really aggressive and mean. So, now, really good view here from the Sesto Elemento. Um, you've got this ginormous wing that pretty much covers the whole width of the model. And you've got the exhaust pipes just under the wing as well. The triangle exhaust pipe, which I love. Um, again, fully opened at the back um, for aerodynamics, uh, less weight all finished in carbon fiber. You can see elements of the engine bay as well, which which is um, which is quite nice. And you can see the mechanisms for the spoiler, uh, which I love. The, uh, the rear lights are done quite nicely as well. And you've got the red cover for the parachute. Um, I believe that's a parachute there. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but I think that's a parachute. Um, yeah, please let me know actually because I'm not 100% sure what that is. It's either a gearbox or a parachute. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you um, if you if you know what that that is there. But again, everything's finished in um, carbon fiber, very aggressive in design, and looks really nice. Um, also, the rear tires are absolutely enormous in width, um, really really big uh, rear tires. 
Um, and the engine cover, again, you've got the slots here for cooling, all finished in red, looks really nice. And you've got the kind of knacker ducts on top of the um, engine cover just to force the air into the engine bay. Also finished in red, looks really nice. So coming around the side of the model car, and now you've got the um, fuel filler caps on the passenger side, finished in um, in red. Again, tyres on this side done very nicely. All finished in carbon fibre. Looks really nice. Mesh in all of the openings here. Um, and again, the whole exterior of the model is very highly done by AutoArt. The carbon fibre work is phenomenal. The, um, the styling, the presence for the model looks really good. So let's take a look at some of the interior of this um, of this model car and start to open up some um, some compartments. So now we've got some of the compartments of the model car opened up. Let's take a look at some of this really exceptional detail here by AutoArt. Um, now, firstly, let's look at the interior. Now it looks, it's very minimalistic in here. It is a race car. Um, so there's not an awful amount of, um, of parts and things in the, um, in the interior. So for example, there's, there's no center dash. Um, there's no carpets in the footwell. There's, there's, there's absolutely nothing. There's no dash really at all. Um, it's a very minimalistic uh, interior. The seat pads are actually bolted to the chassis. The seat belts are done very nicely. So you've got the four point racing harness with the Lamborghini badge and the Italian flag on the seat belts. And you've got all the buckles on the seats as well, which looks really nice. Um, the whole seat does look very good. You can see all of the pads that are um, mounted onto the actual carbon fiber chassis. And when I say it's got no dash, let me show you what I mean. Um, so it's, just finished in this carbon fiber kind of framework and um, with the steering wheel mounted like that um, the paddle the paddle shifts are also finished in red as well which i love little details like that from auto art you've got different buttons and um, driver aids on the steering wheel and the dash does look very good you've got the pedals as well and the knee pads are also finished in red so there is quite a good level of detail in there for the um, for the model car, and um, again, very very good um, in terms of the overall what all to what I've done overall with this model car. I really like. So let's come on to this engine bay at the rear now. Now again, not all to art's best engine bay, but in terms of the detail that um, they provide, it is pretty high. So let's take a closer look at this model car. So it's running a um, a V10 engine, and you can see quite a lot of detail on this model car. You can see the springs on both of the rear wheels as well. So you can see there's um, there's one there on that one, and you've got the other side there as well. This is the engine cover that lifts off as a whole piece. That's quite a heavy piece as well. Um, it's really good quality of materials here that Auto Art use. Um, die cast metal so that piece has got quite so i think overall the engine cover and the whole engine is um, really high by auto art good levels of detail and um, again for the money and for the quality of the model car it really does stand up um, and steps up to the mark so let's put all the um, components back on and do a quick summary of the model car So given this model car a uh, a summary, I think it's exceptional. There are some um, details that are missing on this model car that I would um, that I wouldn't expect from Auto Art. For example, they've left the um, ducts on top of the engine bay with no mesh on. It's just finished in plastic, um, which again, if you're looking at it from the front, you do notice that um, it's just it's just plastic, and I I would have liked a bit of mesh there. But I think overall it's a really good model car, one that you would highly recommend and want in your collection, especially if you're a Lamborghini fan. If I had to give this a review out of 10, I'll definitely put it up there in the um, in the 7s and the 8s. Um, little bits of detail that are missing, 
Um, but again, really good model car. And if you're after a Sesto Elemento, I would highly recommend this model by AutoArt for your, for your collection. Um, but please let me know in the comments what other videos you want to see, um, whether you've got this model car and there's some other bits on this model car that I don't know. Um, always love to hear from you guys in the comments. But for now, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys very soon for more videos to come. Take care. Bye.